Hello, my friends. Happy, beautiful Monday. It's gorgeous out. I uh, I really do hope everybody had a wonderful weekend, got a chance to connect with some friends and have a great visit and just get outside and enjoy some of the day. I know it was a little crazy for some of us yesterday. Um, but, you know, here I am, Angela Harris, everyone. I am here because today I want to answer a question that I'm getting from a lot of the women uh, that have been asking to join my Evolution 42 next week. It is one of the most common questions I get, and that is good calories versus bad calories and how uh, restricting your calories is not the solution for long-term weight loss. You heard it. It is restricting your calories is not the solution for long-term weight loss. I'd say it again if I have to, but I think you heard it the first two times. So what do I mean by this? Okay, let's just say, have you tried to lose 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, or even 30 pounds? Like, have you ever tried to lose weight and you've restricted your calories? You're like, I'm just not going to eat this. I'm not going to eat that. And you go all day long drinking coffee and juices and whatever it might be. And then at nighttime, you get home and you have a nice meal. And it's definitely less calories than you would have consumed all day long. But the weight is still not coming off. Or... Let's say you've made some changes and you just slash those calories to half of what you would normally be doing. And I'm not saying that you're recording your calories either, but you're no longer eating, say, bad food, chips or candies and chocolate and pizzas and lasagna. You're no longer doing that. You're filling yourself up with just salads all day long and leaving yourself hungry. And have you changed good calories for bad calories? Absolutely. Have you restricted the amount of calories coming in? Absolutely, you're doing all the right things, but are you? If the weight is coming off, sure, but is it staying off? Then that means you're not doing the right things. So what do I mean by this? You know, a lot of people believe I just need to develop more willpower. I just need to think, you know, go to the gym and work out harder and just kind of keep doing it. But I can tell you right now, all the willpower in the world is not going to solve this problem, right? Figuring out why you want to lose weight is part of it. Cleaning up the calories that you're consuming, definitely part of it. But the knowledge that you need to gain to do all of this is years upon years upon years upon years. And you might lose some weight. It might work for a little while, but it's a struggle doing it that way. I don't want you to struggle, right? So when you're restricting your calories, you're also putting your body into what we call starvation mode. And starvation mode is fight or flight. So if you are not eating anything all day long, you're just basically drinking your coffee and then dinner time comes around and you have a, a dinner with your family, your body's going to hold on to that. It's even going to hold on to that coffee calories that you're coming in. Or maybe you're sneaking a couple crackers here and there. It's really not enough sustainable food. And your blood sugar goes up and down and your energy goes up and down and you're left with this great crankiness energy, right? Well, I'm telling you, that's not going to work for you. It's not going to work for the other people around you. Nobody wants you to be cranky and unhappy, you know, especially me, right? But honestly, like who wants to feel that way? So if you're now restricting your calories, you're trying to say maybe even get to the gym and work out more, you're tired already, right? Your calories are restricted. You're feeling grumpy. Now you got to go to the gym and do some cardio for hours on end. That is not the solution either. Going in and doing cardio over cardio over cardio is not the solution. In fact, that's detrimental to you. So what I'm trying to get at here is the things that you naturally would be doing for yourself, restricting your calories, cleaning up your diet, hoping that all the willpower in the world is going to help you out, going to the gym and starting a new workout regime. All of that, in theory, is supposed to work, but it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. I'm here to say this to you, and I know you've heard this before. That is not the way to lose weight and keep it off. So what do I do differently? What am I telling you? You need to eat. You need to jumpstart your metabolism. You need to wake up in the morning and put food into your system. You need protein. You need carbs. You need fat. You need these things to develop your energy, build up your energy in the body so you can tackle your whole day, so you can go to the gym if you want to, so you do feel better throughout the day, so you're feeding yourself 
by feeding yourself, you're building up your metabolism, you're jump starting your metabolism, you're feeling better about it, you're building muscle, you're tightening up your skin, you're getting a glowing feel in your face and your skin, everything starts to get better, right? You're not just thinking that my willpower is going to be enough because that's not going to work, right? I'm telling it doesn't work. If you've lost those 10 pounds and they've come back, it's not going to work. And that yo-yoing is going to cause you more stress. So don't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. That's insanity. We know this to be true. Let's try something different, right? Let me show you. In fact, in Evolution 42, we're starting it next week, and there's still some space left. But what we first and first, like even our first two weeks, we don't really even exercise. We don't do any of it. All we focus on is fueling your body with nutrients. We focus on filling you up with energy, right? You learn to put food into your system so you can have energy and be able to have some fun. Who would thought dieting, right? Dieting would be fun. That's what this is. This is just learning a new lifestyle. This is learning. You're already eating. You're already doing this. You're already going shopping. You're already buying groceries. You're already cooking. You're already doing all of it. And most of the things that you probably have in your home, we will use. But I'm going to show you there's a better way and there's an easier way. You don't have to think it up. You don't have to make it up as you go along because I have the plan. I have figured it out. For us 50-year-old women, we need some support and we need some help. And that's what this is all about. Let me just show you the way. Let me help you get healthier. Let me help you get you know, whatever it is that you want. Do you want to have more energy? We can do that for you. Do you want to lose body fat? Absolutely. That's something that I want you to, to achieve. That's something that we all need to achieve. We all need to get healthier. We all need to get a little bit more limber as well. We got to work on our joints. Those aches and pains, we can get rid of those aches and pains, right? There's a lot of things that we can do, but first and foremost, we need to teach you. And by teaching you and you doing and implementing it and putting it into place, it's going to be the key to your success. And I will help you. I'll help you figure it out. Right? Evolution 42 is eight weeks of focusing on making yourself a priority. Wow. Oh, my God. Eight weeks of making yourself a priority. Did you think that's possible? It is. A little bit every day goes a long way. So I would love to help show you that this can be done. You can lose weight, you can get healthier, you can move more, you can get rid of some aches and the pains, and you can change your mindset and enjoy your lifestyle, right? Spring is in the air, shorts are just right around the corner, and summer vacations are coming up. All right, so if you wanna feel better, you need to act now. You need to join me and join the other women and men in my group that are all gonna lose some weight in the next eight weeks. And this is just the beginning, you know, just the beginning. Believe in yourself that you can do it. There's plenty of time in our days. I don't care how busy you are. You can find 15 minutes to make yourself a priority, maybe even a couple times a day. It does take a commitment on your part. And I've already committed. I will make a commitment to you right now that I will hold your hand if you need me to. I'll drag you if you need me to. Or I'll just stand there and listen if you need me to. All right, you guys. If you no longer want to play the game of good calories, bad calories, eating or not eating, and you want to just learn something that you can maintain and sustain for your lifestyle moving forward, if you're on vacation or if you're at home, it doesn't matter where you are. You can make healthy choices for yourself because you've now learned what your body needs. I'm here for you. Join me with Evolution 42, 42 days of taking care of yourself, and it's just the beginning of what you're going to learn. Have a beautiful day, you guys. We will talk soon. Bye.